So the other day we had a class, we had a webinar with Julian Whitlin from Donner Ad Agency. It's an awesome call, but he mentioned um, talking about side chaining the kick drum so that it gives space in the mix. And I have had a couple people ask me about this since that uh, webinar. So I thought I'd show you kind of how to do that in case you're confused on what he was talking about. So here's a little um, song I had been working on. It's one that I just never finished, but anyway, this is a good example. So I've got So I've got um, that kick is pretty loud in this mix. This isn't professionally mixed. I never finished the song, but um, it's got that offbeat and it's very Lady Gaga-ish, okay? And I've got a stacks of synthesizers going on. So what I wanna do is I wanna make more space in the mix for with a kick drum. And I'm going to, to duck the synthesizers and a lot of the sounds. Every time the kick hits on the one, two, three, four, this is a four on the four beat. Every time it hits, I'm gonna duck the instruments, okay? So how do you do that? Now, you're, this is often referred to as side chaining, but that's a very general phrase that could be, side chaining means you, you're taking a the behavior of one sound and you're controlling something on another sound based on its behavior. Okay, so it's very general, but typically side chaining is talking about ducking during a kick drum. What I first wanna do is I wanna show you um, just, just a bunch of the synthesizers that are going on in this chorus, okay? Okay, it's, it's thick, it's a lot of saw waves, it's very heavy, it's very filling, the frequencies. Now what we wanna do is we wanna duck that. So every time the kick happens, so I'm gonna solo up the drums here. Actually, I'm just gonna solo the kick with it. So we just have the synthesizers and kick. This is what it's gonna sound like. All right, so now I wanna side chain this. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna drop a compressor onto this. Now your compressor may look different. You probably have, um, this is Ableton Live that I'm using and I'm just gonna use the stock compressor for now. I'm gonna grab it and I'm, we're gonna drop it on this group of waves, okay? So it's all of these waves together. I've already done this over here, but we're gonna delete that. So I'll show you how to do this. I'm gonna put it before the reverb because there's a little bit of reverb on this track. And so um, I'm, I've got a high pass filter that I'm putting on this and uh, I'm going to just be filtering out some of that low end and I'm gonna have this compressor and then uh, it's gonna go through a little reverb. So it's super simple. All these wave tracks, um, the synthesizers are going through this, um, this group right here. So I'm affecting this entire group of, of, uh, of wave tracks. I can't talk today, I don't know why. All right, so here's how I'm gonna go ahead and play it and I'm gonna start making some adjustments. So if I use the compressor without side chaining, it would be like this. Now I'm just compressing the hell out of it and it's just making the whole thing sound thick and big um, and very um, resonance. Uh, it's bringing the lows up and the, and the the highs down so you're getting a a very uh, normalized track now i don't want to do that but i'm just showing you that the compressor's on there so i'm going to click this little button and most compressors have a sidechain feature to it not all of them do but most of them do i'm going to turn on my sidechain and i'm going to say audio from and i want to tell it to bring in the kick drum my kick is called the kick nicky romero and i'm going to say every time this hits okay then i want you to do something. I want you to compress only when it hits. So if I do this little solo knob, I can just hear the kick. But if I turn that off, I can go like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, my ratio here, it, it, ratio is how strong you want this. Um, I'm gonna set it to about six, that's pretty strong. And every time that kick comes in, I wanna compress, okay? So this threshold is how, how much you're gonna push into it. The attack, I'm gonna set really fast. And for now, I'm gonna set the release really fast. Actually, 
re release, we're going to slow it down a little bit. Now, I'm exaggerating it right now, but this is basically what you're going to be doing is you're... What I'm doing... This is a hard lesson to teach for some reason. Um, what you're doing is every time the kick drum is happening, I'm... Squi I'm the compressor's coming in and squishing all the synthesizers and then it's releasing and how fast it squishes is called your attack and how much how fast it releases is called your release on this okay it's these knobs right here so i'm squishing it and so i'm going to figure out where i want it i don't want it quite that strong but i'm trying to kind of figure out how i want it so i'm going to play around with it here now i'm going to bypass it Turn it up a little bit. All right, so. So this is with it on. This is with it out. On. Do you see what it's doing there? It's making a lot of space for that kick drum to just almost be soloed whenever the, it hits. So we're gonna start with that and I'm gonna apply the same compressor. I'm gonna copy this here and I'm gonna put it on a couple other different tracks. So let's un, un solo this and hear it. Turn it down a little bit. And I'm gonna apply it to this offbeat. This offbeat sounds like this. Okay, and I've already put one on here, so I'm going to go ahead and activate it, and it's going to sound like this soloed. And that gain reduction is showing you where that kick is. Okay, unsolo it. Now I've got this little um, synthesizer lead part. We're going to take a look at that real quick. That's this track here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the compressor on it. It's side-chained. Turn it up a little bit. Unsolo it. Okay. And I've got this going on all these offbeat notes. They're kind of like low synth basses. So what did, what did I do here? Just to review, again, I'm compressing a lot of different groups of tracks. Every time the kick hits, I'm, I'm compressing it. So they're side chained to the kick and I'm doing it. I can put it wherever I want, of course, and then you can do it how strongly you want. Um, if there are some songs that are super strong, there was a song by, um, was it Kryptonite? Oh, I can't remember. It's an EDM song that they like way overdid this. Oh, it was a Sia song. It was one of her first Sia songs. I think she did with, it was some DJ and uh, I'll put a link to it, but it is incredibly side chained. Everything is so side chained, but this is a, an effect that is often done. I often use it, but usually not this dramatic, but this is a great example of it. And I'll, I'll play it again for you. <laughs> Really brings out the drums, makes them really loud. Okay, I think you get the point. All right, happy producing. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye -bye.